send a warm greetings and uh, warm welcome to Your Royal Highness, Your Excellencies, distinguished participants, to our special uh, public lecture series today. Excellency Member of the Parliament of the Kingdom of Cambodia, Your Excellencies Member of the Royal Government of Cambodia and senior officials, uh, Your Excellencies Ambassadors and uh, Distinguished Diplomatic Corps, uh, Your Excellencies uh, Distinguished Participant and Dear Friend. Uh, today, CICT has a great honor and privilege to host this uh, special public lecture series uh, on the title of the U.S.-Asia Rebalancing and the Enduring us Cambodia Partnership in 2015 by a very distinguished uh, speaker. I would like to give you a, uh, a short program and then I will ask uh, His Royal Highness uh, Prince Murat Sehwood, Chairman of CICP, to deliver his uh, welcome remarks. Uh, after that, we will then introduce our distinguished speaker and he will speak to us for about half an hour, 40 minutes. And with his permission, maybe we can open up to the floor to take some questions and answers. So without any further ado, may I now uh, invite His Royal Highness uh, Prince Sapa Sandakar Ramsey, uh, Chairman of CICT, to uh, deliver his uh, welcome demand. Your Royal Highness. The Excellencies, members of the Parliament of Cambodia, the Excellencies, members of the Royal Government of Cambodia and senior officials, distinguished ambassadors and members of the diplomatic corps, distinguished members of the international organization, civil society, NGOs, academia, university students, and distinguished participants, Excellency, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. Today, the Cambodian Institute for cooperation and peace is particularly pleased to extend a warm welcome to all the distinguished participants to a special public lecture on the US Asia Rebalance and the Enduring US Cambodia Partnership in 2015 by the very distinguished speaker, the Excellencies Danny Russell, Assistant Secretary, posted for the Bureau of East Asian and Pacific Affairs. Many of you would agree with me that an event, an event like this one with a visiting high-ranking American official speaking at a CICP organized lecture would have been very seldom. But thanks to the kindness extended to us by the Abu speaker and to the collaboration from the U.S. Embassy with its ambassador, Excellency William Turk, who is among the distinguished participants here with us today. We will hear and learn more about the America grand strategies of rebalancing to Asia and can rest assured to expand our understanding on the United States long-standing relationship with Cambodia. America being the most powerful nation in the world, it will now to be the leading nation in providing the assurance that peace, securities, and prosperity are the forefront of East Asia rebalancing strategies. As a free country with all its brutalities, America remains committed to this part of the world, as has been emphasized by the administration of President Obama. Despite many crises unfolding across the world, how America intends to broaden and deepen the relationship with Cambodia would also be considered the critical pillar of this overall rebalancing strategy. To help us understand better the essence of the United States in the world, I have here with us today the eminent personality who is going to share his part and explain to us how America and Cambodia can work together to hold a much anticipated promise and possibility for both sides to work harder on building a more stable and secure Southeast Asia so that in five or 20 more years, we can enjoy the fruitful cooperation to build a more prosperous and more peaceful future of the Asia Pacific region. 
it is a real privilege for me to introduce Abu Hanar, our speaker now. His Excellency Mr. Danny Russell is currently Assistant Secretary of State for the Bureau of East Asian and Pacific Affairs and a carry members, a carry members of the Senior Foreign Service. He has served at the White House as a Special Assistant to the President and National Security Council and SC, Senior Director for Asian Affairs. During his present there, he helped to formulate President Obama's strategic rebalance to the Asia-Pacific region, including efforts to strengthen the alliances, deepen U.S. engagement with multilateral organizations, and expand cooperation with emerging powers in the region. He had an impressive track record as a career diplomat prior to joining the M as see having deep knowledge and experience in greater in greater Asia region. Before joining the Foreign Service, he was a manager for the International Forum in New York City. Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, it is an honor for me to give the floor to Excellency Mr. Danny Russell. Thank you very much for so I hope that uh, we can use the time that we have left to talk a little more about how we collectively can advance that goal. Uh, and I look forward to when other uh, many meetings across the spectrum of Cambodian society uh, today uh, similarly to further that discussion. So with that, I will uh, stop and uh, appreciation to uh, the center and to the uh, ask uh, for the opportunity to talk to you and take some questions. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Your Excellencies, uh, Danny Russell, for your very clear and interesting insight into the enduring support of the American people to the Cambodian people aspirations and also uh, your view with regard to a broader U.S. engagement in the Asia Pacific. Uh, the floor is now open. Uh, let me first. I present you and thanks to Ambassador to and his team from the U.S. Embassy for our cooperation. So we hope this is not the last one. We hope to see you again. And perhaps your yeah, colleagues from the State Department, the different uh, department from the American administration. And thanks to bring us some very lightning exclusive. And if may I just advise you not to go back home perhaps soon because it's very strong snow in New York and in Boston. So take care of uh, what you support the language. <laughs> so thank you and once again you have a small gift uh, on the behalf of the Sutterat team and the SP team uh, for you. And of course we celebrate our 20 years of anniversary uh, soon. Uh, this year 2015. Thank you once again. Thank you very much. That is the anniversary of the Cambodian Institute for Cooperation and Peace. Not US Cambodia. Uh, yes. Thank you. Thank you. With this note, on behalf of the Royal Highness and Dr. Rodong Seriwood, I would like to thank uh, all the ambassadors, the distinguished uh, member of parliament, the member of the government of Cambodia, and the distinguished participant, particularly the Cambodian student, for coming to our lectures. We hope you have enjoyed what you have heard. Thank you so much.